Hi, I'm Charles from Southern Indiana, and today we're going to take a quick look at the SMY Lighting 65 Watt Transformer. Well, this is SMY's smallest transformer. It's 65 Watt. They make a 100, 300, and 400 Watt. But this is a perfect transformer to use with what I'm going to be showing you today, the SMY LED deck lights. And I've got um, two sets of 16 installed all around this deck. And I'll be showing you some pictures. It's really very simple to use. You plug it in, it's got a mode button, and the indicator light comes on. And so you push the mode light, and it turns it on or off. Then you can push the button again, and then it goes to the photo auto, which means it's a dusk to dawn light. And you can have it set on that, and it will stay on all night, and then go off in the morning. Or you can have the timer and you push the timer button you can set it to be on for an hour once it gets dark or three hours five hours seven hours nine hours or eleven hours so it's your choice how you want to use that um, it has an error light if you've uh, exceeded the usage uh, that it can um, take care of it's 65 watt um, and you could um, conceivably run it up to that high but most people suggest that you don't go much beyond 80 to 90 percent of the the power that this can output and so um, what I'm going to be showing you just a quick example of these are the SMY uh, deck lights this is a box of 16 and this all 16 together takes 9.6 watts so um, technically this could run six sets five or six sets and stay under in, in the 80 to 90 percent uh, of the power outage that this can do um, and for me that's helpful because I've got two sets and when I run my deck lights each set of 16 has this power supply because this is rated to run 16 and no more and so in order to run my two sets of lights I have two of these going um, to an outlet. And speaking of outlets, uh, you really need to make sure that the first outlet that you are plugging into is a ground fault. So I have a GFCI outlet over there and then everything downstream. I've got um, an outlet down there and then I've got four here in this pergola. And because they are daisy chained down to that first ground fault outlet, that means they basically are all ground fault outlets. So you make sure you do that on the outside. If you don't know how to do that, get an electrician because that's really the way to be totally safe outside where it can be wet. And so um, I'm going to give you my example of this is I've already opened up a box of these 16 with this big pile is here and I need a way to plug into this. And so this, like I say, it's very simple. It's just got two terminals and in this kind of uh, wiring with 12 volt, you can put the two wires on either one of these terminals and tighten them down. So what I did was, I, I, as much as possible, I like to leave everything factory. So I've daisy chained all of these um, SMY deck lights and then I took an extension. And so um, I, I have uh, several extension cables and so I took one of them, took my wire cutter splicer and I just cut off this end. Cut off this end and now I've got my bare wires here. So I'm going to loosen these, put these in, and then when I turn it on, all these little lights are going to come on. And just remember, that's 16. If I kept daisy chaining, I could do safely five to six sets. So that means we're getting up past 90 lights. So that's a lot of lights. Uh, my 32 lights, some might say, are almost too much, but we really like how it looks and so that's uh, pretty much it so let me get um, this screwed in and then we'll uh, see them all turned on so I've got the bare wires from the extension cable screwed into the terminals back here they're nice and tight and you do want to keep in mind when you hang this outside I would cover this with electrical tape um, just to be uh, careful and again it's low voltage but you, you do want to protect these bare wires okay because you're gonna have it outside somewhere so right now they're all plugged in the power is waiting so I'm gonna push the mode button and when I 
hit on and off, there they go. You see all these lights on. It, and it does have a circuit breaker, and so if you exceed the limit, you'll get an error. And so at that point, if you were pushing your luck, then you could take off maybe two or three lights um, and see, then turn it back on and see how you're doing. So in other words, I would check what the li if, you're, if you're pushing the limit here before you get them all installed somewhere and it's going to be hard to get to. But if you stay in the 80 to 90 percent of the power that it outputs, then you'll, you will be safe, that's for sure. Um, I'm going to push the button to the photo sensor and they went off, didn't they? Because it's bright. So I'm going to take that and cover it with my hand, see if I can get it dark enough. And there's always a delay. And there we go. They turn back on. And then I take my hand off. And it, there's always a few second delay. And then it will go off. So that's really all there is to it. It's a nice small unit. You can fit it anywhere. And it can control your lights really well. And it doesn't work just with SMY lights. It works with any 12 volt LED light, landscape lights, or a lot of a variety of different situations. But I'm really glad to have this because now I don't have to be using two of these with my two sets of lights. I can just run them all, connect them all together, and then just run them into this one transformer from SMY, the 65 watt transformer.